Let's embed a Shopify product inside of your WordPress website so that folks can actually check out via Shopify. Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and I'm gonna show you right now how to leverage your Shopify account, bring over a product add to cart button and put it on your WordPress website. I'll also put a link in the description below in case you're looking for a full tutorial on how to actually integrate an entire Shopify catalog of products into your WordPress website. That's doable as well. But let me show you right now how to add a Shopify add to cart button into your WordPress website. So you'll create your product inside of your Shopify account. And in your individual product here, you've got a more actions option right here. Now, if you don't see embed on website or create checkout link, you might need to do an extra step to enable that point of sale. You can go over here to the left side under apps and go into apps and sales channel settings. And just be certain that you have point of sale set here as a sales channel. If it's not there, you can just search the shop app store and be sure to install that. Now that I have that installed, I can go back to my products. And when I click on more actions, I should be able to see embed on website or create checkout link. I'm gonna do the embed on website. It allows us to choose from a layout style of basic, classic, or full view. For now, I'm just gonna stay with basic. You can select an action, add it to the product cart, direct to checkout, or open the product details. I'm gonna say add it directly to the cart. Love that. And there's the code already sitting here. So you can just click the green button, copy code, and let's take that over to our WordPress website. Okay, now I'm back inside of my WordPress dashboard and I'm in a page right now. You can do this in a post as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose the HTML block and I will paste in my code. We can click preview right there and there's my beautiful add to cart button ready to go. If I wanted it to have the actual thumbnail of the item, I could do that as well with that more advanced bit of code. Let me show you what that looks like. Going back over to our store, let's choose the full view and we'll copy that code. Jump back over here into HTML. Let's remove what's there and we'll paste in the new code and go ahead and click preview. And now you'll see it with the full picture, the price, the title and the add to cart button. And if I'd given it a description, it pulled it there as well. Let's take a look at what this looks like on the front side of the website. And beautiful, sits right in there. If I'd had multiple images, all of those would appear here as well. Let me show you what the user experience looks like. If I click add to cart, look at this nice little fly out that happens. All of that came with just that simple bit of code that I pasted. I've added no other plugins, no other functionality to my WordPress website. Click checkout and it actually then moves you over into a Shopify checkout platform right here, all securely, all safely through your Shopify account. If you're interested in learning more how to fully integrate Shopify with WordPress, I'm gonna add this link to a really fantastic tutorial from WP Beginner that will walk you through every single step of full integration where you're bringing over an entire catalog of products if you'd like to do that with just a couple of steps, you'll have your Shopify account running inside of your WordPress website. Y'all, I hope this was helpful for you. I have an entire YouTube channel dedicated to all things WordPress. Please be sure to click like and subscribe. Come back here with me every single Wednesday where I'm helping you improve your online marketing. I'll see you next time, y'all. Bye-bye.